absolutely, Alicia Keenan, it could have been so much worse. We are grateful that those firefighters, several of them released from the hospital already, they're expected to make a full recovery. So that's the good news. Take a look at this scene. This is what's left of that vacant home here on Hollywood. You can see all that charred debris and take a look at this sign. This is new this morning. We're seeing a post offering $5,000 for tips that lead to an arrest in the event that this fire was arson. And if you take a look around this neighborhood, it's still pretty dark this morning. We'll show you much more coming up at six o'clock, but there's plenty of vacant structures all around this street, adding to the concern from neighbors here that something like this could happen again. I hear it all day and night, all day and night. It's fires all day and night. Somebody setting them. Christina Gibbons lives in the neighborhood near Seven Mile and John R, where on Thursday, eight firefighters were hurt, responding to a fire in a vacant home after the structure collapsed. Thankfully, all of them, including one firefighter who was trapped underneath the rubble, are expected to make full recoveries. Nearly 60 firefighters responding to save their own, digging through debris for more than an hour. You kind of want to think you plan for this, but you can never plan for a situation like this. Overgrown lots, prostitution, and fires have been issues here for a while, neighbors say, like Rodney Tucker, who's lived here for 20 years. He'd like to see more demolitions in this area. A lot of abandoned buildings, uh, we have a lot of squatters. We have a lot of young guys trying to move in and sell drugs. As for the cause of this fire, it's still under investigation with the help of DPD and the ATF. If it was arson, investigators say they'll find who's responsible. And Keenan, you may be wondering why firefighters would rush in despite this home being vacant. Well, the Detroit Fire Department says that is their policy. It's always a rescue first in the event that there could have been people inside a, a somber reminder of what these first responders face day in and day out. Again, the cause of this fire remains under investigation this morning. Reporting live in the city's east side. Jen Shantz, 7 Action News. And then we, our hearts certainly go out to the uh, firefighters that were injured in this and those that are still uh, being uh, held in the hospital this morning, but it could have been so much worse. We're glad that it looks like they'll all recover. Jen Shantz, live for us this morning. Thank you, Jen.